Well, hello there, and welcome back to Intermittent Nonsense. It's been a hot minute since I have played Hogwarts Legacy, but here we are. You know it's bad when you have to, like, brush the dust off your controller. That's how long it's been since I, <laughs> even my player is stretching. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Oh, it's been a while since I've actually had a chance to sit down in front of the PlayStation and play a game or two. Not that I haven't been gaming over the Christmas break and the New Year's, but uh haven't really touched Hogwarts Legacy, unfortunately. One thing that I did do, had one evening, I don't remember what was happening. I think my kids were watching a Christmas movie, and of course my son doesn't particularly care for um, most things. He wants to watch movies about planets, mostly actually. Oh my gosh, the things that six-year-old could tell you about the solar system. Even I've learned stuff like the existence of the planet Maki Maki, or the fact that it has two moons. But I digress. We did have a brief chance to, I did have a brief chance to nick in. And I thought, you know, I'll just take another chance at like Imelda. And I didn't stream this and I wish I had because I finally beat Imelda Reyes in her stupid broom racing thing. So anyways, sorry, I didn't record that, but uh, it's over and done with. I don't have to be frustrated by Imelda anymore. I can just fly back to Albi and we're going to do that. But at any rate, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Good to see y'all. I know it's halfway through January already, but that's how it is. What am I drinking tonight? Parallel 49 Brewery, which is, where are they? Somewhere in British Columbia, Vancouver. This is called the Vista. I think it's called the Vista. It's a West Coast IPA. It's a bit strong, mm, but very tasty. Oh, there's another one in the. I picked up like a box set at the uh, local liquor store. It was on for like half price. I think they were blowing them out after the holidays. Um, it was like eight cans for, I don't remember how much, but cheap. And there was one in there that was like really crazy good. This is not it. But maybe on a future session. Who knows? Been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3, of course. Uh, which, I mean, that's been fun. But it's a different kind of fun, right? This is just more straightforward. I don't mod. <laughs> I haven't played Hogwarts Legacy on Switch, too, which is also quite enjoyable. Uh, but, anyways. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Uh, mm, it's a good question. Christmas decor is up, properly speaking, until like February 2nd, Candlemas. <sighs> Albi, Albi, Albi. We've something to report, I hope. Finally, yes. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. She was Tell, a sore loser. A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. <laughs> I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Mm. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow Anyways, ruin it. I hope you all had a good break. Those people don't appreciate and, uh, the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flights. We Nor do they appreciate all that's involved two dinners, in the creative attended process. Two more. <laughs> visited my folks in law. a shop like mine. Says uh. it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons uh. from what I hear. And Don't diss the siesta. Do not diss I mean, the siesta. If Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I oh, don't listen to him. Well, cool. I'm excited to hear. Now, of course, I have to get used I to the fact that I'm back on a PlayStation controller and not the Switch. I guarantee you will be pleased. Uh, Expect to hear from me soon. Oh my gosh, Christmas gifts. I gotta mm. talk about this just briefly because it's like in front of me here. So there's a company today. called My Arcade. And they have something called the Game Station Pro. And it's essentially like 
on a like i mean it's basically intended as like a modernized atari console so it's got like tons of old atari games and i mean all the way back to like pong and asteroid and i was editing a book for andrea cantato uh talking about video games the broom upgrades ready stop by the shop when you can uh Anyways, You'll be yeah. thrilled with that so room. I Andrea wrote, you know, I mean, he wrote books about like Ultima as well. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Great. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, Can I have a but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. Oh, if you gosh. test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Sounds as if you're really out I don't really want to race him out there again, if but... If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the Anyways, beginning of what um, I can do for Brune's so... fight. He wrote a bunch. He wrote a couple of books about like the history of the Ultima series of RPGs, eighties and nineties uh, games. But then he also has another series of books called Video Games, which talks about like the overall history of video games from like going all the way back to like like pre Pong, like the stuff that people were building and playing on oscilloscopes. Um, and it was it, there's five volumes. It was all written in Italian. It's an Italian author, and I edited the first volume the translation to english so it's kind of funny you know being able to you know having that kind of still fresh in mind i did it over the summer but still like it's fresh in mind and then <clears throat> now all of a sudden my wife for christmas gets me this game station pro and it's like some of the same games many of the same games that are in the game station are in the book and it's really quite hilarious I am not going. Sorry about that. Switch controls, PlayStation controls, slight in slight difference. Pain in the butt. This is what I wanted to do. Talk to me. Oh, the broom upgrades are already applied. Cool. Well, okay, I don't want to worry about dealing with Imelda right now. Pain in the butt she was. I titled this Switch Stream. Uh, for Natty, and Natty we will speak with. Off to the races then. <laughs> oh, you have no idea, kid. Anyway, mm. this is such good beer. This is going to be a short session because my wife is coming home from work at some point and she really wants a hamburger. But of course, we are out of hamburger buns that she can have because of her allergies, she's allergic to so many things. Uh, so I've currently got some dough rising upstairs and I have to start baking it at some point. And that's how it goes. Really simple dough recipe, by the way. Well, thanks for watching, Revenzolm and Rivainzolm. I'm not sure how to pronounce, but this game has been fun for two reasons. Like, one, the. If you look at like everything else the developer has built and then you look at like this game, you're like, how did you, how, where did this even come from? I don't know if I can actually get to Natty from here, but maybe there's a door. Uh, you know, like where did this game even come from? It's just, it's a wonder. Uh, the scale of it, the scope of it. It's, I mean, it's built with Unreal Engine, so similar to like the Mass Effect games, but then, 
it's kind of unfortunate because like you do especially because like i actually have three different playthroughs going simultaneously um I have this one, I have the one on my Switch, and then I have the one on PC, and I'm only streaming the one on PlayStation. But it's funny because playing through the one on PC, I'm playing as a Slytherin, so I'm trying to do like the, the asshole build, or like I guess you would call it the Renegade playthrough, right, in a Mass Effect context. Um, and it doesn't... It There are sometimes responses where you can be like, it sounds a little more jerkish, but it doesn't have the same effect on gameplay, on outcomes, as playing pure Renegade does in Mass Effect. Everything kind of, you know, ultimately every dialogue tree, even if it gives you a choice, there's only one outcome. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. So, you know, it's a bit unfortunate in that regard. Uh, but just the scope, the scale of it, the writing is quite good, the voice acting is quite good. The world building is incredible. Just I being able to experience Hogwarts at the it, ground level. Like, oh my gosh. It's so impressive. Even if you're not like a fan of Harry Potter, the attention to detail, the world building, like it is it is really good. Came from me. Um and she again, especially considering the pedigree of the developer prior to releasing this game. Quickly. Unfortunately, she might in fact but, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Mm. What are you on about, Natty? <clears throat> if she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never <laughs> let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Uh, has Officer I mean, Singer done anything with the evidence? As a parent, I can relate. He has not. Hallo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. Emphasis if someone on had us. stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. And it was all my fault. Your fault? Not really, Natty. How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. You're my putting a lot on yourself. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. <laughs> In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I mean, I am good company, at least. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our bodies. <sighs> I gotta see if this bot My did father the thing had a that I about expected that. it to. Yes, because, I remember. You know. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Ah, nice. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Yeah, we will. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Cool. Do you want to do anything, or are we just done here for now? Uh, we're done here for now, aren't we? Do not want to go against Imelda. 
And I don't know if I have time for a full-on cave run. Which leaves us with the headmistress. Well, we talk a lot about world building, so why don't we enjoy the stroll to the map chamber? Because, whew, the design of Hogwarts is admittedly really impressive in this game. I mean, I imagine I've never played like, um, oh, shoot, uh, Lord of the Rings Online. Some of my friends were really big into it back in the day. Um, but I imagine it's got to be the same kind of experience, just being able to actually like wander into that world and see see it at the ground level. I mean, good gravy. I felt that way about the Ultima games, you know, which I grew up playing, right? Started playing like Ultima 6 back in the early 90s. And then 7, 8, played some of the earlier ones. And then when 9 came out, it was just like... Because nine's the only one that's in 3D. And, I mean, you can find people online who have some negative things to say about it, but it's it's a phenomenal game. It really is, uh, in a lot of ways, wildly ahead of its time, you know, compared to what 3D RPGs are doing. To the, even this even this game, um, Ultima 9 has some tricks up its sleeve that this game just doesn't have. But, honestly, it was just... The ability to experience Britannia, a world that I had, you know, grown up in, um, just being able to experience it at this kind of ground level, to just look up and see the sky. Ah, it was amazing. And now here again. I still gotta find this place. I don't know what this place is, but I still gotta find it. Just making sure my blink is working. <laughs> Another Christmas tree. Lovely. Thing is, they're English, so they might not take stuff down until the second. I've still got my Christmas tree up. Mind you, again, allergy considerations. It's not a real tree, so... Don't have to worry about it drying out or anything like that. But we keep it up. The combat in this game was also really good. I, I actually quite enjoy the combat in this game. I don't recall getting to the map chamber outside. There you are. The cross one's duel is to beat. Yeah. I think the auto map has gotten confused. <laughs> it legitimately has. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. <clears throat> Fine.
All right. Nice of someone else to join the party. Hmm. Welcome back. Yeah, hi. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Go on. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? <laughs> it is. Please? I had <clears throat> hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. I think I've already been in the headmaster's office. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that I've been in there at least once. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. I mean... I think I walked in last time, and he wasn't there. Oh well. Let's go find Fig. I realized just now that I have absolutely nothing in the house that would serve as a useful pan for baking buns. Not that I made a huge amount of dough. Still. Kind of need something to constrain it to that circle shape. My wife's an RN, so uh, oftentimes at the end of a shift, she comes home and she's just ravenously hungry because, hey, nurses work their asses off. And, I mean, that's fine. You know, I love cooking, and I love cooking for her because she's great. So it's not a problem. But, you know, she's like, I would really love a burger. Cool, I can make you a burger. We have those. What we don't have is buns that you can have because she's got so many allergies and a lot of just like pre-made burger buns and well, just so much pre-made stuff anyways. It's got stuff she can't have. So it's like, well, I mean, I know how to make dough quickly. So cool, I guess I'll do that. So that's rising upstairs and I'll have to start baking it here soon. Again. I don't mind, but it's a challenge, if you will. Oh, wait, no. Door? Door. There's a door. Speak of the... Give me a minute. You know, they do something similar for decorations at my church. Through the door, let's go. 
Oh, that's lovely. We finally started getting snow here. Just, uh, just time for Ukrainian Christmas, actually. Oh my gosh, did they put it? They did. That's hilarious. Aren't you all finally adorned? Hmm. It's little details like that. Like... Even if the morality options aren't particularly up to, like, the Mass Effect standard, the attention to detail is astounding in this game. Oh, a side I quest. Do this for all eternity. Let us keep our the sheer nerve taking them down. Talk to me. Pardon me. Is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two You're bells new. to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Also, what? Bells. I had that same question. <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts. Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, she was going on. swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. I like bells. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black. Taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? Go I on. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour but mum's the word if only two bells are left isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where easy for you perhaps i happen to be tone deaf mother likes to say i couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog no point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Hmm. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. That would follow. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Well, <clears throat> anyways. I don't think I'll get to that tonight. But I do love bells. Um, I imagine the bells are just inside the bell tower. Oh, shoot. Now I'm onto that. No, we're going to go talk to Fig, then we'll solve the bells next time. Well, do we have to? I like bells. And they seem to be already en route, so, okay. At the uh, church we attend, there's a... It's not a bell tower. It's more properly, I guess, a bell cross. It's like this large stonework cross, and there's three bells in it. And the bells are old. Like, they were built in France or wow. forged in France. Uh, brought over here, oh gosh. Possibly before Canada was even a country. Uh... And they're just there out in front of the church and they ring before every mass. Uh, my son loves them. Like, we go to church and he is right there. He needs to see the bells, uh, see them ring every time. But like, there's a whole history to them. And uh, even things like, you know, like they all have names and there's like whole, there's, there's histories about how they've been forged and uh, I think they were like christened and stuff like Like it's just, there's so much detail that went into these bells that would be used for liturgical purposes. And I can only imagine that, you know, the same would go into something like, well, something like these bells here, right? Like they would be infused with just so much history. Huh. The bells must be upstairs. Oh, 
A little well, more. don't mind if I do. Somehow, Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. Yeah. Okay, so we got a gap there and a gap there. But how do we know which one goes where? Well, as fascinating as that is, I was hoping for Rebellion. something else. I don't think I have that queued up. Shoot. Wrong one. Which one's Wingardium? Oh. I'm smart. Wingardium Leviosa. Well. Where's the door? There's the door. Oh. Well, maybe we can just quickly stop in here. There's a door here. <sighs> I 
zero. So one, two, three. One, three, three. So three, the weird Hydra thing. I think that's the first time I've seen a double. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. It's two and two, another double. It's four, so two, three, four, five, six. Weird lizard thing. Hmm. Rebellion. This way. Time check. Yeah. Well, just enough time to get back to Eevee, and then I'm going to call it for the night because I got to start making food. Let me in. Come on. That's Sebastian. If he thinks he's getting away with it, the bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. Hmm. Can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. I do like bells. You don't know how much this means for <sighs> me and for Hogwarts. Well, like I said, I'm going to call it there because I got other stuff to do. But thanks for watching. It's good to be back in the saddle again. This has been Intermittent Nonsense. I am still Canadian XYZ, and I'll see you again sometime.